Domino's used to promise pizzas to your doorstop in 30 minutes or less. That deadline was never a problem for Rene de Guia. He's a Sarasota shop owner who may be the fastest pizza maker in the world. And he'll try to prove it next month in Las Vegas. SNN Local News 6 reporter Grant Boxleitner gives us a closer look. Sarasota's Rene de Guia started working at Domino's 23 years ago as a customer service rep. I was on the phones for two, three, four hours at a time. I said, uh, you know, it looks like a lot more fun over there making pizzas. And when he moved to the prep area, he was soon making quick work out of those pies. Very quick. From then on, I always had a passion for making good quality pizzas as fast as I can. Over the years, De Gia has become so fast that he'll soon be going for his third title in Domino's World's Fastest Pizza Maker competition. And he now owns his own store, too. It's speed, your technique, and uh, your quality. Yeah, obviously the speed comes in from, 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 the, from the competitor itself. The quality comes from experience. Check out his technique. You may not want to blink. Little time is wasted as he moves from one skill to the next. And it's even faster from this angle. It's an art form few have mastered like this. Then it was my turn to test my skills at De Gia's Pizza Store on Cattleman Road. He takes me step by step. You're going to form a border. Form a border all the way around, make sure it's even and consistent. I quickly learned that this isn't nearly as easy as it looks. My goal was just to get a pizza oven ready. De Gia's goal is to be the fastest for the first time since 2005. The, the technique and the style is changing, so there's a lot of guys out there that bring a lot of new, fast, efficient way of making pizzas. Reporting in Sarasota. That's how we do it. Grant Boxleitner, SNN Local News 6. De Gia owns the Domino's at 480 Cattleman Road. He's scheduled to compete in the world's fastest pizza maker competition on May 16th in Las Vegas. We wish him well.